Hi, this is PG of PG's Lumacy. In this tutorial, we will be making Bats Maru from the Sanrio character series made on the extended rainbow loop. For the bands, we will be needing black, white, and a few pieces of yellow bands. We will be using an extended rainbow loom and you can use the hook that came with your rainbow loom kit. And for projects like this, it would be better to use the metal hook that came with the upgrade kit. We will be using small seed beads and a piece of floss to string the seed beads with rubber bands. For detailed work, you may need a fine crochet hook and a pair of tweezers, but even without these items, you will be able to complete this project. First, we need to make the pieces for the eyes, and to do that, we need to string our seed beads with white rubber bands. So get your piece of floss and insert the end of the floss into the bead. Grab your band and get it onto the floss and then reinsert the end of the floss into the bead. That will form a loop that will pull your band into the bead. And you are gonna get this piece for the eyes. Make one more of this piece. We are using an extended loom for this project and this is the way that I put together two rainbow looms and I have five pin bars on this extended loom. This will be the top portion of it with the arrows and when you lay out your bands, make sure that the arrow is pointing downwards or pointing towards you. We are starting our layout on this row of pins. It is the third from the top, and we are saving these top two rows of pins for the spiked hair that we will be adding later. So let's start our layout on this row of pins. And because of the unique shape of Bats Maru's eyes, we have to lay out and loop our bands a little differently. So pay attention to the way that we lay out the bands. First grab two white bands and place them on these center pins. To that we add another pair of bands and then another pair of bands. Okay, Look at the screen and see the layout. Now grab two black bands and place them just on this one pin and grab another two black bands and place them on these two pins. Okay. Now, let us grab our hook and take note of the looping that we will do for this, okay? I grab the white double bands and very carefully, okay, you might actually need to hold on to the black bands, I get these white bands out of the pin and loop them to this pin, like so. Okay. Now, I'm going for these bands. I loop them to this pin. And then, I'm going for these bands. I'm looping them to this pin. And remember the black bands that we placed just on this one pin? We now grab one end of those pair of bands and place it on this pin, like so. And 
very carefully get the white bands out of the pen and place them like so on this black band. Get these bands out of their pins okay. and this will be the layout for the right eye on the figure. Now grab one of the pieces for the eye uh, that you made earlier okay. and then go into these bands. Okay, there are four of them. Let me grab a fine crochet hook to show them. Okay, see, I'm grabbing these four sides of the bands. Okay. I'm getting, okay, let me get my hook, hook this time. Okay, four, these four bands. I'm placing the band for the eye on this pin. And then I'm grabbing one end and get it through the four loops like so and then put it on this pin. Make sure that the bead is close to this pin, as close to this pin as you can make it. You could pull on the band that's holding it. so that the bead will be as close to this pin as possible. That will be the right eye. Now let us work on the left eye and we will mirror what we did for the right eye. I will not be speeding up the video for this so you could follow along. Again, we grab two white bands Okay, and they're on the center pins, and then two, another two white bands on these two pins, and another two white bands placed diagonally on these pins. Grab uh, two black bands and just place them on this one pin, and then place this black band, pair of black bands on these two pins. Okay, and loop. Carefully grab the white band from this pin. Make sure that the black band stays in place and then loop to this pin. Now grab the band under and loop to the center pin and then loop okay i i grab one of the loops from the other band so we just have to okay let me just rework that okay i grabbed this band and i was not supposed to okay so i just put it back There you go. Okay, now grab the pair of black bands and put them on this center pin. And then grab the loops from the white band and very carefully get them off the pin and onto the black band. Then get these loops off the pins. And that is the piece for the left eye. Okay, when I say left eye, it would be the figure's left. 
It is right on your screen, but it is the figure's left. So I refer to it as the left eye. Okay, now grab the other piece that you made for the eye. And then again, we go into these four loops. Okay, we want to get these four loops. Make sure you're grabbing the, the right loops so that your eye does not get all twisted up. Okay. It, it, would be, it would be these four loops that we need to grab okay. and get your eye piece into those loops. Get one end to this pin and the other end to this pin and we need to get the bead as close to this pin as possible okay. we want these white bands to be as neatly looped as possible so it'll be easier to fine-tune the shape later okay so those are the pieces for the eyes. This is the right eye, the figure's right eye, and the figure's left eye. Now let us place the other bands for the layout. Unless otherwise specified, we will be using double bands at each step. So black double bands on these pins and then another for this side okay black double bands center pins okay now let us place a row of black bands on this row double black bands Now take note of what we will do for this next row. We place double black bands on the center pins and then another double bands on this outer right and on the outer left side as well, leaving these pair of pins blank. Now grab two double bands and place them on these pins, diagonally on these pins. And do that on the other side as well. Okay. Then for the center part, we're going, to, we're going to place diagonal bands on these two pins and do that on the other side as well. Okay. Take note of the sequence in which we place the bands. These outer bands go uh, in first and then these go in after we have placed those bands. The, the sequence is very important so that we don't uh, mess up the looping. Now let us work on the, the body for our figure. For the body, let us start with two bands on these two pins and another two bands for the other side. Then let us place a row of black bands, but only on this three middle pins. Now for this 
next row of pins, we will first place double bands on the outer pins and they're placed diagonally from this pin to the pin on this inner left and we will do that on the other side as well. Now we will place white double bands diagonally on these two pins and we will do that on the other side as well. And then let us add a pair of bands on these center pins. Now let us place white bands on this middle pins. Let's place a row of white bands. And on the sides, let us place black double bands. Let us repeat that pattern for this next row of pins. That's white for the middle pins and black for the outer pins. Now for these center pins, we will place horizontal bands. Let's place two white bands on these two pins. And let's do that on the other side as well. Now let us place black double bands and place them on these pins and do that on the other side as well. For the legs, let us use yellow bands and let's grab two yellow bands. and then four yellow bands. And we cap that with a single yellow band wrapped four times. Well, let's just make that three times. One, two, three. Let's do that again on the other side. Two bands. Four bands. And cap three times. One, two, three. That's the piece for the legs. Now for the arms, which we will add to this shoulder area over here, you have the option of working in layers at, uh, to place the arm pieces. Let me show how to do that. Grab um, three black bands. And by the way, it will help to push down on these bands that are already in place. Grab three bands and place them diagonally from this shoulder pin to this blank pin on the side. And then here is where we work in layers. Grab two black bands and place them on these two pins. And here is where the layers are take place okay. and then grab a single band and cap the arm piece with that single band and loop it four times one two three and four 
Now let us loop the arm piece to get it out of the way. Go into the capping band and grab only the two bands that we place for the arm piece. Okay, make sure you did not grab these other bands. And then grab the three bands and loop to the shoulder pin. And then get the ends of the arm piece off the loom. Of course, keeping uh, it attached to the shoulder pin. Now, if you did not want to work uh, in layers, uh, you could use the extra pin bar because we're only using five for our project. We have an extra pin bar. Grab three bands and place them on these pins. And then grab another two and place them on these pins. And then cap with a single band wrap four times. One, two, three, and four. And then loop the bands. Okay. Hold on to the capping band so they stay in place. And then loop. Okay. Now grab this entire piece get it off the, the pin bar and place it on the other shoulder pin and get all the loops in there and you have your other it's actually a wing for bats maru okay so it's up to you what technique you want to use for your wing or arm pieces and uh, use whatever is easier for you. Now let us place the bands for the spiked hair for Bats Maru. And you have to pay attention to the sequence in which I place my bands. You cannot do anything differently from what I'm doing. So grab a single band, place it on these two pins. And then grab another single band and place it diagonally from this pin to this pin on the left. Now grab two black bands and place them on this left top pins. And then cap this pin with a single band wrapped five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's do that pattern again for the second uh, piece for the spiked hair. Single band on these two pins. Single band diagonally on these two pins. double bands on these top pins and then cap five times one two three four and five okay let's do that on the other side single band on these pins single band and double bands on the top pins. Cap five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and lastly, single band on these two pins, single band on these two pins, diagonally, two bands on these top pins and cap 
five times. One, two, three, four, and five. I did not speed up the video on the spike hair so you could just follow along when you're laying out your bands. This is the resulting layout with the bands in place. Take time to pause the video and compare your work with the one on the screen. Let us place some horizontal bands that will hold this piece together. First, let us grab a white band and place it on this row of pins. Then grab a black band and place a double looped band on these three pins. Okay, so place a single band, twist on one end, and then loop it back like so okay so it will be a double looped band now let us place a horizontal band uh, on the head area grab a black band and place it across all five pins on this row and those will be the horizontal bands that you need to place for this project there are three of them total now let's start looping the bands starting with the the legs go into the capping band and then loop all four bands Make sure you get all the four loops on the pin. Okay. It's rather tricky when working with uh, a lot of bands. Let's do that for the other leg. When you get to this section with the horizontal bands, the looping will be uh, first these black bands on the sides and then the white bands that are going to the center. Okay. And then you can loop these bands as well. Okay, now, let's do that on the other side. Sorry, starting with the black bands on the sides. Okay. And then the other bands, which are the white bands. And then we could finish that there. Let us loop the remaining bands on this row. Then let us loop this row of bands. Then let us loop this row. For a neat looking um, shape, I want to loop these diagonal bands first and then this vertical band last, then this black pair on the side. 
Now let us loop these three bands. And we looped over the wing pieces. When you get to this section, which I call the shoulder section, we will loop from this pin to this pin and grab the double bands underneath and then loop to the center pin. Okay. And then we do that for the other side as well. Grab the double bands and then loop to the center pin. Make sure you loop in exactly the same way as we just did here uh, so that your piece will not fall apart. You cannot loop in the other direction. It is inwards. Okay. That's the looping pattern. And when you get to this section over here, we will loop these diagonal bands in the centers first and we will look for the bands that are on top in my case it would be these bands so okay it would be uh good to sort out the bands like push them down if needed so you will see the band that you are trying to get okay, go into this center pin and then loop those diagonal bands, okay? Make sure you're getting into all the bands, otherwise your uh, design will fall apart when you get it off the loom. Okay, and grab these bands and then loop okay let's go back for the other one for heavy layers of bands like this it would be good to look at it from all sides and check to see that you got all the bands looped now for these diagonal bands on the outer sides, we will be looping in the opposite direction. We will loop from this pin to this pin. Okay, and let's do that for the other side as well. And then we will loop these outside bands forward. Now before we loop these bands on this row, we need to add the piece for the beak. And I'm using a yellow band for the beak. Loop a single band four times on this center pin. One, two, three, and four. Okay. And then loop these middle bands. Make sure you get two of them. Okay. Now get the four loops from the yellow band onto that center black pair of bands. Okay. Now this next step you can skip, but I just want uh, to do this to give my beak uh, more uh, dimension later. So what I do is I grab single black bands. First on one side, I grab these two 
loops out of the four I grab the two loops in the middle and then I get a single band into them okay and then I loop that single band onto this outer pin on the right I grab the same two loops get another single black band into them okay. and then I loop the black band and place it on this pin on the other side this will give uh, our beak a more uh, defined shape when we work on it later. Okay. And then on top of this, I would like to put a a diagonal, uh, I'm sorry, a horizontal band, but I don't get this horizontal band on all the pins. I only get it on the two side pins and then put it on the bottom sides of these three pins and not on them, okay? Not like this, but I put this both sides of the bands on the bottom sides of these three pins and you will see what that will do later on okay now let's continue looping the rest of the bands now before looping the bands on this row where the eye pieces are at, let us first work on the, the spiked hair. And for the looping on the spiked hair, again, we go in the opposite direction. We loop from the top to the bottom. Let's start with this piece. Go into the capping bands, and it's going to be tight. Grab the the bands, the two bands underneath, and then get them off the pin, and then loop to this pin. We're going in the opposite direction for the looping. And then, um, so that our single bands will not be stretched too much, I hold on to this loops, the, 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 the end of these loops, and then get the capping bands out of the pin. Place them uh, on the pin like so. Just so when we loop these single bands, they wouldn't be stretched too much. So grab this diagonal band and loop it to this pin. And grab the vertical band and loop it to this pin. Okay. Let's do that again for this spike. Grab the double bands and then loop in the opposite direction. Get the capping band out of the pin and then loop the single bands. Let's do that again for this other side.
that's it for the, the spiked hair. And now for this row, before we loop the bands, the, the white bands with the eye, uh, with the beads for the eyes, we need to get these loops, four loops on this band. We need to get them onto this pin, like so, okay? And then, as we grab this white band underneath, there's a single white band holding the bead, we get it off the pin and onto this pin, okay? And if you can, get the, the bead on the top side of this band. Because right now, if you notice, it is on the bottom uh, loop. We want to move it to the top loop. And to do that, you uh, use a fine crochet hook. Okay, Get into the, the black band. Go from the other side and then get the bead onto the top side like so see so the bead is now on the the top side okay and when you're when you when you're, you're done with that grab these loops the white loops that you put on the pin and release them from that pin. Let's do that again for this other side. First grab your four white loops and get them onto this pin. Okay. And then grab the white band and loop it to this pin and then okay let's try it with the the rainbow loom hook go into the black bands and get the the bead onto the top part like so okay it sort of snaps into position when you do that and so the bead is now on the top side and it will show uh, in the front of the figure. Okay, and then we release the loops that we placed on this pin. Challenging technique, I know, but it's the only way to uh, replicate uh, the shape of Bats Maru's eyes. And now let us loop the rest of the bands on this row. Okay. The middle, the center bands, and then the side bands. And lastly, let us loop the bands, the horizontal bands that we placed uh, at the beginning of uh, the layout. We will be looping them from the sides towards the center. Let's start from this side. Let's grab this band and loop to this inner pin. Now go into this pin and make sure you are grabbing the, the right bands because we have a, a thick layer of bands here. And then loop to the center pin. Okay, let's do that for the other side. And go into this thick layer of bands. And grab 
these bands. I only got one of them, so I'm, I'm going back for the second one. Okay, there you go. This is the resulting layout with the bands looped. Take the time to pause the video and compare your work with the one on the screen. Now grab a single band or you might want to use a double band for this because we have a thick layer. Go into all the loops on this center pin and then get your band and then secure. Okay. Make sure you're getting all, all the bands. This is a heavy this is these are thick layers. Okay, I have to redo that. So I, I I missed some of the bands. Make sure you get all the bands. Okay. And get your securing band. Okay. And don't overly tighten. The, the hold on this for now, just enough to keep it secure. Maybe hold it with your finger so it doesn't slip off. And then you could pull the entire piece of the loom. Let's stretch out the piece. Here is what we want to happen for the eyes. Okay. We would like to have these bands neatly laid out, no twisting. So let's work on that. get the the bead on the top section of the eye like so and then even out the the stretching on these bands by pulling them either from the front or from the back just to even out the the stretching like i said we want a neat Layout, no twisting as much as possible. And then let's do that for the other eye as well. Now for the, the beak, okay, let's pull on the black bands that are holding the sides of the beak. So it's not overstretching the, the, the beak. And we want to place these loops that are held by the black bands in the middle and these little loops on the top and the bottom. Okay, and Then we even out the, the stretching on our beak like so. Okay, we want to pull this out so there's more of it that shows. And then we pull all four of them and then pull outwards and little by little you will have this uh, squarish or diamond shape and do you remember the the horizontal band the black horizontal band that we placed get one side of that horizontal band and place it in between the two yellow loops in the center of the beak. So that defines the, the beak. Okay. Like so. And then grab the four loops and pull them out. So 
So that gives a shape for our uh, beak. Okay. Continue stretching the, the bands out and lengthwise and crosswise. We want the cheek section to be roundish, so don't pull on them too much. Actually, just bunch them together. Okay. And pull out the, the spikes. Even out the stretching on the capping bands. For the legs, fold the legs uh, so that they will point forward like so and you do that by pulling on these bands that are holding the, the leg piece, pull them outwards from the back and that will fold your legs to the front to make it look like our figure is in a seated position. And then I wanted to fold these legs to the front too. So what I do is pull out these yellow bands. These are double bands. I pull them out. So that we're going to see the, the soles, so to speak, of his feet. Okay. So the spikes are pointed upwards. The reason why um, the bands for the eyes were looped uh, that way was so we could use the sides of the bands to form the roundish shape of the eyes for Bats Maru. Okay, see? If we used a regular looping, we could not achieve this roundish uh, shape for the bottom of the eyes. So that's the reason why they were looped in a, in a different way. So there you have it. Bats Maru from the Sanrio character series made on the extended Rainbow Loom.